so much of what happens behind the scenes, folks, you got to experience it for yourself. And if you want to support it, hey, that subscribe button, it's right down there. Go ahead, look for it. It's there, promise you. Either way, we're going to get into game number one. It's time to enter the age of plastic with this Rob. And once again, it's plastic versus Jurassic as Yoshi takes the stage in the hands of Miles. Yeah, Boost, um, like you said, going to go opt for that Rob pick. Now, this matchup, Yoshi, especially if Yoshi's able to get some dare openings, um, it's going to be a lot of damage. Both these characters definitely have that great combo game, um, just you know, being more up there in terms of uh, tier list. And Rob, of course, just going to be able to control so much area with the Nair. And Yoshi is definitely a character where you play more in the air than on the ground, so I really want to see how Miles approaches this Rob matchup. It will be interesting. And hey, when in doubt, up air. Got the lasers. Miles is not going to get a free pass back to the stage. Boost going for the read. Hey, why not, right? Yeah. You got it. You might as well do it. And of course, Miles going to try to keep this Rob in the air for as long as possible. No real quick get off me option. That Nair is going to have to be calculated if they want to make the most of it. And it's going to be the forward air that winds up doing the job. 141 is going to be the percentage that that stock is taken at. Boost trying to get that quick little confirm. Miles knowing. They're looking for that. They will survive just a little bit longer. Extra credit will not be in their future, however. Boost cleans it up. Yeah, really good up throw on top of that platform there. And both these characters are going to be extremely heavy. It's going to be really rough for both of them to uh, get these stocks. Uh, right there, we saw Boost able to get the grab in, you know, just right into the up throw there with the platform assist. And Miles was able to get some of these edge guards, which can be, I mean, like Rob is definitely susceptible off stage, but definitely does have some mix. And whoa, look at this Ooh. damage, man. The forward tilt into the up airs, and he's still going with these up smashes as well. I mean, dude. Did you forget this is Tri-State, bro? We're, we're raw. We do not care. We're <laughs> mad aggressive for, frankly, no real reason. I'm really not sure why, but we just kind of drive that way, too. Uh, either way, <laughs> that down tilt, uh, not quite the same as it was, apparently, according to, uh, according to Boost. But that's a conversation we can have for another time. That up smash, very much what it was and always has been. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Miles, very, very clean. Uh, every time anyone asks me, you know, how, how, advice on the Rob matchup, the first question I always ask them is, can you parry Rob Nair? And if you can, then I'll go into the conversation. If you can't, well, then, you know, go back to step one, learn how to parry that Rob Nair. It's so important, especially at this top level of play, to be able to punish Rob for going for these Nairs. And Miles had the parry on deck with the punish as well. The up smash is on there, and he's able to rack up a good amount of damage here. It really is the one Achilles heel that Rob has. I Ironically enough, for a character with no feet, but nevertheless, it's the one thing that really can catch them off guard is they have to establish that space and uh, do it with that nair. And there it's uh, really is like the start of your win condition as Boost is eventually going to take that second stock. Sitting at 14%, Miles. You know what? Hey, that's uh, they seem to have got that parry down. But the question is, can they finish the job? Of course, we know Rob. As heavy as ever. Oh, oh, Miles tried to get cute with it. You got to respect it. Almost almost off the top there with the egg. Here's the grab here. And we'll see if Miles is able to close out the stock. Rob obviously able, especially with this rage, maybe able to set up some kind of nair setup into the side B. Very, very powerful move with the base knockback. And Miles is still racking up this damage. Fairly good lead, but I love how Boost is just chipping away. Ooh. Lasers bounce. Did you know that? And there you go. Wow. That Miles, uh, man, Boost getting every last bit of that up smash. Miles thought that they were gonna get cute trying to go uh, go above Rob, but no, I was like, Rob's like, no, I'm like eight feet tall, bro. I don't know what you thought you were doing, but that's gonna be game number one going to Boost. And it looked a little tenuous at times, but uh, wound up being Boost, the new signee of No Pause Tournaments, cleaning it up. Yeah, I like uh, he saved the up smash out of shield, you know. Uh, it, to be fair, it can be pretty hard to get a Yoshi player to kind of commit onto your shield with that hard drift in right next to you. Rob's up smash does have the scoop, but usually Yoshis are drifting like they're crossing you up so hard or they're just drifting away with their aerials so hard that you can't really get the up smash there. So very good positioning on Boost's end and really just was able to clutch it out with that up smash out of shield. Um, really getting Miles kind of going for that greedy reversal right by the edge. It really is about catching that drift. So final destination being the space for game number two. Do you think Miles is playing too aggressively? 
Um, maybe a little bit. I mean, maybe not even aggressive and neutral. Maybe just trying to get some of these reversals, like some of these double jumps on the stage. Uh, sometimes, you know, Yoshi does have that really good double jump with the armor to cover yourself. But sometimes you might want to go to edge. Uh, but Yoshi players usually just... It, it, it's it's such a good tool to abuse that air drift. Yoshi does have the best air drift in the game. So, you, you know, Yoshi's just flying around the map with these aerials. It's such a tenuous position to be in because obviously Yoshi is good. But when you don't have a jump and you're below ledge, Oh man, you are uh, not gonna have a good time. No, you're you're yeah. gonna have a straight up bad time actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not to correct you, but to add on to your point, Miles trying to just get, uh, see if they can get a cute little fair off. They will not, and thus Boosk is going to take back the stage. And Miles in at 28%, maybe starting to feel the pressure just a little bit. So up smash, going to alleviate that. Now they can just kind of catch a land in and maybe feel a little bit better about it. Boosk knows they're looking for buttons that can only save you so much when that backer comes out. Yeah, honestly, it feels like Miles has pretty much controlled the pacing game one and two, but, uh, you know, Boost was able to bring it back that game one. And even that this first stock of game number two, uh, Miles just an unfortunate positioning after the double jump. I feel like Miles just has to be a little bit more careful of when and where he double jumps and the positioning afterwards of the double jump. Yeah, I mean, that armor can serve you well, and it's a neat little quirk of the character, but, I mean, it only serves you for so long. And, of course, Boosk, they've been playing uh, Yoshis quite a few times. There's a few of them in uh, in our area. That can maybe, uh, maybe mess you up just a little bit. As, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, Spiro, I believe, still has that pocket Yoshi just kind of laying around somewhere. I don't know, but they have since switched to Palutena. But Boosk, the South Jersey, uh, the new South Jersey ace, who's been, well, I mean, hey, that's a region that has developed some of the best players on the planet, one of whom is here today. Absolutely. So let's uh, put some respect on their name, Boosk, looking to inherit that legacy. Miles says, uh, not respecting legacy all that much, just trying to get this stock and just jabbing this Rob in the face before finishing a fair and trying to get stage. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, this up throw should do it. Even Yoshi, very, very heavy, but 180 will do the trick there. And uh, I, I think with this matchup too, since both characters are just so heavy, it really comes down to how you can abuse the rage that you have um, and not get that reversal. And, uh, Boost is doing an incredible job making sure, oh, go, going for the KO, I definitely uh, don't fault him for that there. Uh, right there, could have possibly won the game there. You had a bunch of rage, went for the read with the side B there, but now look at this. Oh, ooh, the ooh, laser's ooh. coming out, and Boost putting on a show. Miles will succumb to...